So you may be wondering after why several days at basically the same weight, my weight suddenly dropped down. Well, there's this phenomenon in weight, in weight loss called the uh, whoosh effect. What the whoosh effect is, is you go several days or even weeks without really losing any weight because what's happening is your body is storing water where the fat used to be, or it's holding more water in your muscles, and then suddenly, boom, the water drops out and you drop several pounds at once. See, now, last night I had a few drinks and alcohol is a diuretic, so that can help stimulate the whoosh effect. So I sometimes, if you weigh yourself after a night of drinking, you'll actually see you're a few pounds lighter because your body's cleared out all that water that was in it. So, I need to make dinner tonight, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to have or even what ingredients I have, and I don't really feel like cooking off a recipe. So I'm going to improvise, so let's see what I can do, okay? Got some bacon. Bacon always makes things taste good. Let's see what I can do with bacon. Let's get this bacon going. Still not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm thinking some kind of pasta dish, maybe. But I had a small onion, so I cut it up. I threw it in here with the bacon grease. And let those flavors come together. Then I'm gonna maybe add in some mushrooms I have in here. And we'll see where things go from there. This is not exactly a uh, fully planned dip. Do not cook your onions this far. This is a little bit burnt. This is bad. Don't do that. Add some mushrooms. So I added those in here. I'm thinking maybe I'll end up deglazing this pan with a little bit of lemon juice. And hit it with a little bit of cream. And emulsify it with a little bit of the pasta water. Make it into like a pasta thing. I'm still not exactly sure. Work in progress, guys. Okay, got about 12 ounces of shells here I'm going to cook on. If you look, you can see I don't have very much water in there. That's because I want to concentrate the starch molecules from the pasta in the water so I can use it to help emulsify all of my fat and make my sauce over here. So we actually want not that much water in here, contrary to popular advice. Okay, add a little bit of garlic, and now I'm deglazing the pan with a little bit of lemon juice. The acidity helps really lighten the dish up, and it's really quite a nice little feature. Makes a lot of steam, though. Okay, now we're going to add in just a little bit of cream to give that sauce a nice little bit of creamy, fatty richness. That'll really help it um, be filling in like a complete meal. See, and we can see how it's starting to take on the color of the bacon grease and we add a little bit of the starchy pasta water to start emulsifying the sauce. Get a nice good sauce that's going to cling to the noodles. And now we add our pasta in and stir it around to help the uh, sauce really cling to it the way we want. Okay, now I'm adding some Parmesan to get that good little bit of nuttiness, and it helps the sauce come together a little bit. Okay, finally I'm just adding in just a little bit of blue cheese. Honestly, this might have been too much for it, but I was hoping the funkiness of the blue cheese would play well with the mushrooms, and it does, but it's also just kind of, you've got onions, you got garlic, you got blue cheese, this thing does a number on your breath, so you may want to leave the blue cheese out if I'm being honest.